from Afghanistan. Community members are coming together to donate food, linens, and find housing accommodations for families escaping the Taliban's takeover. WDBJ7's Rachel Snyder is tackling that story tonight. So Rachel, how many refugees are these organizations helping? Well, Kate, organizers I've talked to say that just as of last night, a little over 50 refugees have moved here. The outpouring of community support is helping them to learn English, find jobs, send their children to school, and safely transition to life here in America. They're coming here very quickly with very little, and so that is a lot of what we're doing now, is making sure that we're really reaching out to the communities. Commonwealth Catholic Charities is one of the organizations collecting household goods and finding a safe place for refugees to stay in Roanoke. The agency has been working with the federal government for decades to set people up for success. Our job here is when they arrive to make sure that we have housing for them, to make sure that we find employment, um, we get their children in school, you know, we provide cultural orientation for them. Friendship House Roanoke is also part of Virginia's refugee resettlement program. We have a small space in our facility that we turned into an apartment and we started furnishing that and welcoming families as they come into the country. And then when that apartment is full, as it often is, we will get on the phone and start emailing churches and friends and volunteers to see if they have space available. Executive Director Aaron Dowdy says having a network of local businesses and parishes is a huge help, especially when the area is as compassionate as the Roanoke Valley. These refugees who come in are usually coming in with just, you know, a backpack and the clothes on their, on their bodies. And so we started crying as we started um, seeing what was happening and you know we we've got to know several Afghan families in Roanoke and consider them our friends and just to hear the struggles they're even going through right now to have family and friends that are scared for their lives or in some cases even hiding because um, they know that they're at risk. It, it breaks our hearts. Friendship House has helped dozens of families over the past few years, connecting them with residents willing to make room and welcome them to a whole new world. And we should be welcoming them and loving them. Um, you know, th that's the history of, of our country, right? Is that we at some point were in the same position or, or coming to this country and uh, we, sh we should be loving our neighbors. As far as COVID-19 procedures, officials with these organizations say refugees go into a two-week quarantine and are tested for COVID upon arriving here in the U.S. If you're interested in helping out, donating food or supplies, or offering up space, head to our website, wdbj7.com, for more information. Kate? And Rachel, like you said, this is a whole new world for these refugees, so it's amazing to see that love happening right in our own backyards. Thanks for that story tonight. People in our hometowns are also praying for those Afghan citizens. The Unitarian